Prismatic Titan just keeps getting stronger and stronger. With the buff to roaming supers, every Prismatic Titan will want to switch to this build because we can now chain Transcendence and supers infinitely. One after the other, back to back to back, so you can nuke the hardest of content and make it a complete joke. Not only that, but you can literally get both your super and Transcendence with your weapons in seconds. There's virtually no downside to the build. Yes, I know this is the thousandth video for Consecration Titan, but with each episode and even each act, a different version of it with different fragments and different setup seems to shine, so you'll want to switch to this iteration as soon as possible. The best thing about this version of Consecration Titan is that you do not need the exotic class item. Scratch that, even if you have the god roll exotic class item, you'll want to ditch it because the regular exotic is so much better for this build. Dim link for the build will be in the comments or description below. So with Act 2 of Episode Revenant, roaming supers now get 3 times super generation, meaning you get them way more often. The best weapon to exploit this super generation, especially in harder content, is Outbreak Perfected. The combination of nanites hitting the enemy and rewind rounds means you can get your super off a single champion. Not only that, but kinetic weapons are excellent for generating both the light and darkness bars for transcendence. As tempting as something like Bad Juju is, Outbreak is simply the king, especially for harder content. We make this even better with Facet of Grace, whereby it gives us bonus transcendence energy when we defeat targets with our kinetic weapons. Not only that, but Facet of Grace makes our super kills also grant bonus transcendence energy. Now the super we're using in this build is Behemoth. Behemoth is a roaming super, so not only has it benefited from the super generation, but it has increased damage against champions as well. So it can now do huge amounts of damage, and with the stasis effects, it can also deal with champions with ease. Whilst using your super, it will generate a ton of darkness energy for transcendence because the super is stasis. But with Facet of Grace, and on top with Facet of Devotion, we can also generate a ton of light transcendence energy from one super cost. So much so, it's actually possible to get your transcendence back from one super. And even if you're not quite at full transcendence, when you finish your super, you're blessed with all of your abilities at full charge again. You get your Glacier Grenade back, which is capable of filling your entire darkness bar if thrown into a pack of enemies. And you get three Consecration Slams, which is enough to fill the entire light meter. Then you can go back to popping Transcendence and spamming Consecration again until you build your super. It's the perfect loop of maximum aggressive gameplay. And if for whatever reason you're not Titan enough to full send it all the time, you can always fall back on your kinetic weapon to rebuild your super and rebuild your Transcendence in seconds. The missing link to this is our exotic of choice. Because we're going from Transcendence, spamming Consecration, to our super, to spamming consecration again, you do not need the spirit of inmost light. We just don't need the ability regeneration buff from it. So the god roll exotic class item, spirit of inmost light and spirit of syntheseps becomes inferior to just the base exotic. Why? Because the base exotic syntheseps provides a damage bonus to both our consecration melee and our super. Whereas spirit of syntheseps only provides the damage bonus to our melee. Base Syntheseps gives our Consecration Slam 165% increased damage and also boosts our super damage by 50%. So not only do we get a big benefit to our neutral gameplay, but we also get a benefit during our super usage. It's perfect. Use normal Syntheseps and don't worry about not having the exotic class item. It's no longer a cope, but actually beneficial to use the normal exotic. Behemoth is also amazing to use this episode because we have so many benefits for stasis from the artifact perks. Hail the Storm increases our shatter damage and slows targets, meaning we can deal with both unstoppable and overload champions with stasis crystals. Brain Freeze adds even more slow into the mix, and then with Facet of Purpose, every time we pick up an orb, we gain Frost Armor, which gives us more damage reduction and a bit of healing, so we're really tanky as well within the build. Let's go over the build in detail. So you want to use your Behemoth Super. Thruster, which with the right armor mods can actually be used to dodge and heal. I'll explain that a little bit later. I use Catapult Lift, Frenzied Blade because it gives us three melee charges to use Consecration with. For your grenade, you want to use Glacier Grenade. A lot of people aren't using this grenade. It's by far the best one to use with Prismatic Titan currently, because if you throw it into a pack of enemies and shatter them all, it can fill up your darkness bar in one go. Consecration Slam itself fills up the light bar really quickly, so dealing with the darkness bar with Glacier Grenade is a godsend. For our aspects, we have the classic combination of Knockout and Consecration. 
Knockout will help provide healing in the build as melee kills will give you a chunk of health, which means as long as you keep playing aggressively and keep killing enemies with consecration, you simply won't die. Then for our fragments, we use Facet of Dawn, which gives us Radiant whenever we use our Slam, meaning we can also deal with barrier champions in the build and we get a nice 20% damage buff. We have Facet of Ruin, which will boost the potency of our Consecration Ignitions and our Behemoth Shatters. Facet of Devotion to boost light transcendence energy gains, especially when we're using that Behemoth Super. Facet of Grace so we can gain tons of transcendence from our kinetic weapons and super kills. Then finally we have Facet of Purpose so we can have Frost Armor within the build, which gives us an escalating bonus to damage reduction and gives us some healing each time we gain a stack or refresh it. With our armor mods, we're aiming to maximize orb generation from both our Consecration and our weapons. Orbs give us more super energy, they give us melee energy thanks to our armor mods, and they give us some healing on top thanks to our armor mods. And they also give us frost armor stacks thanks to facet of purpose, so orb generation is really important. For our helmet, we have kinetic siphon with arc siphon. If you're running a different special weapon to me, then change that arc siphon mod. Your gloves, you want to have triple heavy handed. It's important you run three copies of this, so the internal cooldown of generating orbs from melee kills is minimized. So basically every slam you'll generate an orb. On your chest piece you want to run the relevant resistance mods for the activity. Then on your boots you want to run one copy of invigoration with one copy of absolution to maximize melee energy gains. And then I run one copy of recuperation which boosts healing every time I pick up an orb. With powerful attraction we can actually hoover up any nearby orbs with our thruster ability so we can heal on using thruster thanks to recuperation then i also run one outreach mod and one reaper mod on my class item in terms of stat distribution for the build the number one priority here is 100 resilience to get that 30 percent damage resistance to maximize survivability then you actually want to aim for 100 strength to minimize your melee cooldown then go for a high discipline stat or 100 discipline if you've got good armor to minimize your grenade cooldowns. Finally, aim for intellect, recovery, and mobility in that order. For weapons, the only one I'm going to hard recommend is Outbreak Perfected. It's an absolute machine for generating transcendence and super. Not only that, but nanites with unstoppable pulse rifle are amazing for dealing with champions. And it's not a bad DPS option when it comes to primaries. The other weapons you can literally run what you want. I'm running grenade launchers for concussive reload, 15% weakened debuff. Honestly, I barely use my special weapon or heavy weapon in any of the GM runs here because we're basically consecration slamming or behemoth slamming everything inside. In terms of artifact perks, make sure to have unstoppable pulse, overload GL, Concussive Reload, Hail the Storm, Armor of Eremis, and Brain Freeze. So there you have it, the best version of Prismatic Titan we've ever had. Transcendence into Super into Transcendence. It's a monster of a build and it doesn't seem to be slowing down with each act or episode. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Destiny builds, both PvE and PvP. I'm Mr. Ronit and that's it for today. Peace out, guys.